All right, MIUI 12.5 enhanced. Now, this is a particular update which was not exactly given to the Redmi K20 Pro or the Mi 90 Pro. So we do have a team or a developer from Indonesia who is trying to port the MIUI 12.5.6 enhanced version, which was given to the Mi 90 Pro in China, right? Now, I have covered this particular ROM in the past on the channel, wherein it was not really stable, it was not really doing a great job. But right now, it is doing such a brilliant job that I had to review this. In fact, if I'm not wrong, Abik Saroji Edition is based on this ROM as well. So I've had this ROM on my device for more than 24 hours since you know yesterday or day before yesterday, I don't really know. One of my elite testers, Pratik, has been testing it and he has really good things to say about it. So today is the review of MIUI 12.5.6 Enhanced for the K20 Pro, which you can actually flash from TWRP. This is not an official update, but it really, really feels like one. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, please join us on Telegram. We have more than 1500 members there. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so let's see what we have here. Now, disclaimer, this has been translated using Google Translate from Indonesian language to English. So if there are things which are not accurate, please don't blame the developer. I'll try to cover as much as I can. MIUI 12.5 enhanced, 12.5.6, Android 11, sixth rebuild, China stable, full version, high stable, abridged, abridged version. I don't know what that means. So you have the download link for both the versions. The one that we are using right now is the abridged version. Root, no features compared to China ROM, enhanced new reading mode, status bar icon style, style 1, style 2, style 3, notification icon color in status bar, number of notification icons, status bar, battery icon status bar, rectangular battery oval, battery percentage size in status bar, clock feature, clock color, font style, bold, italic, display seconds, double dots, shadow size, these are custom role level customizations. So, I mean, ASP custom ROM based. Feature to customize mobile network icon, features hide show, enhanced keyboard feature. Okay. Added zero point of motion scale, changed MIUI home motion ratio. Voltage support, battery indicator color changes according to battery percentage. That is a good thing. Four column notification volume, four row sound settings. We can check that. Oh, wow, yeah, that's actually there. Advanced power menu, enable in developer mode, wide wide DRML1 support, Netflix 4K, support three more languages, VN, Turkey, Spanish, bug fixes compared to previous version, fix error, can't back up through Google, fix the error of not understanding message notifications on the lock screen, fix error style network icon overlaps, instructions to enable Google Assistant, swipe gestures, this is this, we're not gonna cover that. Requirements, recovery, everyone remember, full wipe, clean wipe, okay. Clock feature if there is a space error. Okay, so these are actually quite a lot of things to take in. But what matters is in the end, after you go through the process of flashing this ROM, understanding how to flash it, how good the experience is. Now, the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will notice that the smoothness is definitely there. It is smooth. It works really, really nice compared to, you know, the MIUI 12.5 non-enhanced ver version. The app icon animations are present. They are very, very smooth and subtle. For a six years device, they're doing a great job. If you go to the Google feed, you will see that it'll take some time to load because I'm doing it for the first time. But see this. The smoothness in Google feed is there and it works absolutely fine. Even when you're scrolling, if you go to the home screen, the animations are pretty, pretty good. So that's always a good thing. So if you talk about MIUI 12.5.6 as a whole, the enhanced edition for the Mi 90 Pro in China has been pretty good because China ROMs for this particular device or any device for that matter, always perform much better compared to the stock ROM. So the performance on this also should be pretty decent. We will talk about the battery life in a while, but you will see over here that it is very, very deep bloated. It doesn't really have any bloatware at all. If you swipe from the top to bottom, the control center is very, very smooth as well. So that is good. If you talk about the multitasking menu, it's working snappy as always. You have manage apps, RAM usage, floating windows, all the works that are available and they work absolutely fine. 
So if you actually go to settings over here, you go to my device, you go to all specifications over here, you will see that it comes with Android 11, standard stuff for the K20 Pro. Security update is unfortunately still the 1st of October. I really hope someday Xiaomi will release MIA 13 for this device because trust me, this device deserves it. Now, one thing to note over here, the safety net on this particular ROM is not passing, so you will have to use Majesk, but the Wideband L1 is present. If we actually go to the security application, you will see that you get the updated game turbo, which is present and that works absolutely fine. Now, let's see over here. Let's allow game turbo to load. Okay, it has loaded. There you go. So you also get performance profiles with this particular update, which is always a good thing and it does work as well. I did observe the phone scoring a little bit higher and a little bit better when the performance mode was enabled. There is no lag in the UI. You know, it works really, really smooth. The camera consistency is present and things like overheating protection and stuff are there. That means the phone doesn't really overheat a lot and it cools down really, really quick. If you talk about the security status, you have all the information that you need over here. And then you have your always on display. So, you know, you do have your typical MIUI customization. This is the battery profile section that I was referring to. And if you talk about the battery life, as you can see, we've been using the screen for one hour almost, and we are still at a good 70%. Now, remember, this is a device that is two years old or probably more than two years old. So the battery capacity would have dropped. But still, I'm getting around six to seven hours of screen on time over a 24 to 25 hour of usage. And the fast charging on 27 watts is working great as well. Now, there are some additional customizations available in this particular ROM, which we will not get into a lot of details because these are MIUI based customizations and they are, you know, like it or leave it things. Now, as far as the password and security is concerned, you do have face unlock, you do have fingerprint unlock. This is a MIUI based ROM, so fingerprint even on the always on display works absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. So all in all, this is the highest version, HAIS, whatever that means. Let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers here. The CPU throttled to 85% of its max performance. The average was 182.209 GIPS, right? Now, if you talk about the Antutu score over here, 521.794, so pretty decent score there. And if we talk about the Geekbench numbers, 732 single core, 2555 multi core. But to use this device as a daily driver with MIUI on, yeah, you know, if if you think you want to use it, you can. But you will find it a little slow compared to ASP ROMs. But from an MIUI ROM point of view, this is really, really nice. This is as good as it gets. You get all the goodies of the latest MIUI 12.5.6 plus the enhanced additions. And it works really, really well as a complete package. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.